Next, let's see the cooling system like a air cooled engine. Generally, all the two wheels are employed in the um, air cooled systems. Here can here it is. You can see the engine, engine, okay, and uh, uh, around the uh, cylinder, you can see here the fins by means of aluminum metals. Aluminum because uh, it is aluminum is one of the best thermal conductivity materials. During working times, during working conditions, actually during inside the engine, there is an enormous amount of uh, heat is liberated. This energy will be um, consumed after uh, consumed and remaining. I mean, the energy means the heat energy. The heat energy will be liberated through these fins. Okay, this is for better conduction. This is for better conductions, right? And look at cooling systems. In nuclear cooling systems, here a coolant. It is a working medium. Here it is uh, circled around the cylinders and absorbs the heat from the cylinder walls and cylinder heads, right? The coolant. It is a mixer of antifreeze ethylene glycol and the water. Uh, sometimes the aluminum radiators have special antifreeze that record the special antifreeze liquid. So here the coolant absorbs heat as it passes through the engine and also lubricate the water pumps. And the hot coolant enters the radiator in which the heat is passed on the air that is flowing through the radiator flowing through the radiator it prevents the dust and corrosion from the water jackets the cooling systems fluid is recommended every two years in order to remove any dust or contaminants presented presented in the radiator right water jackets in cooling system the water jackets it is one of the important one uh, let's see what it is the design to it is actually designed to keep engine block and cylinder head cool opens uh, space between the outside of cylinder and inside of cylinder block and head when engine is running at normal operating temperature the coolant is forced through the water jacket jackets in the engine block through the head uh, gasket and into the head okay and back to the radiator this is the main function of main fun, main thing for water jackets and uh, in cylinder head um, gasket sides between the short block and cylinder head if it is damaged okay if it is damaged the coolant enters the combustion chamber and the combustion into the cooling system it will be allow acids to form white smoke so this is the main things for gasket so if it is damaged once we have to replace this in cooling system this is the you can see here it is a radiator which will be uh, provided in the front portion of the vehicles front portion of the vehicles here can say the air fins will be the radiator cap here it is a radiator cap at the top of the radiator this is a coolant tubes here it is a coolant tubes this is a out outlet to the engine this is outlet to the engine right here the radiator it is a heat exchanger that removes the heat from the coolant passes through it okay it may be the vertical or horizontal core in vehicles equipped with automatic transmission or the transmission cooler built into the radiator some vehicles uh, towing purposes have oil cooler mounted to or built into a radiator right so this is a uh, thermosiphon cooling systems here which i have shown the thermosiphon cooling systems this is the uh, line diagram for the line diagram of thermosiphon cooling systems here you can see the um, engine this here it is the engine in which the water jackets will be there here it is going from uh, coming from the radiator and goes to the engine inside the inside through the water jackets and come out to the upper hose connection and come to the upper tank here it is stored okay then it comes down from upper to downward motion during running condition the air will be impinging air will be impinging on the radiator so it gets cooled and comes down the lower tank okay after reaching certain temperature um, cooling the cooling the um, um, cooling the um, 
antifreeze solution and here it is allowed to the again allowed to the engine portions this is a simple working function of the cooling systems next the gas turbine what do you call gas turbine the gas turbine also called combustion turbines and the type of this is also one of the type of engine ic engine in which burning of an air fuel mixture produces hot gases that spin a turbine to produce a power output it is a, a production of hot gases during the fuel combustion not the fuel itself that that gives a gas uh, turbine the name combustion occurs continuously in gas turbines as opposed to reciprocating ic engine in which combustion occurs intermittently intermittently here the working function i can see the um, working function of the compressor i mean uh, turbine uh, under brayton cycles here it is here uh, compressor as i said the earlier uh, slides compressor turbine there is a combustion chamber here the air is compressed at a high pressure by compressor then the fuel is compressed then the fuel then the fuel and the compressed air is mixed in a combustion chamber and it is ignited okay the from what happened the hot gases formed inside the combustion chamber the hot gases are gain off which spin into the turbine wheels like okay. here i have show the the pvt way the ts diagram of working function of the car turbine right See here, I can show the the photographic view of uh, turbine. Okay, these are turbine units. The main component of the gas turbine is the air compressor, combustion chamber, turbine, which we have already discussed. There is a here the section view of the gas turbine. You can see here the components. The, here it is the combustion chamber. This is the turbine. Turbine blades are there. There is a compressor. It's a compressor output shaft. Let's see what is the air compressor. The air compressor and turbine are mounted at either end on a common shaft with the um, combustion chamber between them. With the combustion chamber between them, the gas turbine are not self-starting. It is starting motor is used for the starting the gas turbine. Right here, the air compressor sucks. The air and compresses, so thereby increasing the its pressure. Thereby increasing its pressure. Let's see what is the combustion chamber. In this combustion chamber, the compressed air combines with fuel and uh, resulting mixes in burnt. The greater pressure of air and better the fuel air mixture burns. Okay, better the air fuel mixtures burns. Right. The modern gas turbine usually use liquid fuel but they may be also uses gas fuels okay in natural gases are gas produced artificially by gasification of a solid fuels right so what is the turbine here the hot gases moves through a multi-stage multi gas turbine like in steam turbine the gas turbine also has stationary and it's a having a moving blade what you call fixed and moving blades right the stationary blades are guide the moving gases to the rotor blades and adjust its velocity this is a main function of stationary blades okay then the shaft output okay the shaft of the turbine is coupled to the generator right so main application of these gas turbines are uh, dry pumps driving the pumps and the compressor and a high speed cause it is used for if square mainly for aircraft and the ships and the power generation used for peak load and uh, yeah, standby units which will be used in the main applications here you can see the the next let's see the the combined uh, cycle power plants you can see here combined power cycles so here it is overall percentage you have for this uh, combined cycle power plants will be 50 percentage of thermal efficiency think about it here it is 50 percentage of thermal efficiency here you can see the simple gas turbine power plant here you can see the simple gas turbine power plants there is a turbine units gas turbine units here also you can see here bottom of the portion here it is the steam power plant what do you call here it is steam power plant because here we are going to using steam turbine here we are going to using gas turbines right so here what happened as usual 
when the compressed the air passes to the combustion chamber the fuel will be into the combustion chamber it gets burned okay the hot gases will be released and it is will be um, it will be enters into the turbine what happened turbine will be rotated turbine will be rotated so around that uh, turbine we have a boilers we have a sorry around the turbine we have a water here it is you can see here Yes, you can see here steam turbine power plant as usual uh, here the steam is generated here the steam is generated with the help of the gas turbine the exhaust hot flue gases with the help of the hot flue gases coming out from the turbine waste gases here already the power output be power will be done okay uh, work done will be done here okay after work done there is a waste hot gases released from the turbine okay hot flue gases will be released from the turbine and it will be used in the boilers okay and it will be used in the boiler here boilers here there is a conduction will be takes place around the boiler you know very well it is the water tubes are there inside the water tubes there is a water will be circulated here water will be circulated these waters will be carrying a what you call will carrying a heat from the uh, waste gas waste gas uh, heat from the boiler okay then what happened so here the steam will be generated what happened here the steam is generated that steam will be expanded in the steam turbine that steam will be expanded in the steam turbine here there is a power generation here also a power generation after generating the steam there is a there is a <clears throat> wet steam will be there and after that there is a wet steam that steam will be comes to the condensation process i mean con in the help of the condenser there is a condensation will be takes place again this water will be this water will be condensation water will be used in the recirculated into the into the boilers this is a combined power cycle so here for the thermal efficiency will be 50 percentage Here the maximum steam temperature in a power cycle does not exceed 600 degrees Celsius, although the temperature in dry bottom pulverized to cold furnace is about 1300 degrees Celsius. So, here can let's see the type of combined cycle power plants. There are many types. Uh, let's see the uh, gas turbine steam thermal power plants, MHD, okay, steam plants, thermonic uh, steam plants thermoelectric steam plants here the air standard cycles for the gas turbine power plant is a Brayton cycle which like a uh, ranking cycle also consists of two reversible adiabatic and two reversible isobars here in Bra Brayton cycles working fluid does not undergo phase changes whereas in ranking cycle there is a working fluid in water gets phase change as a stream understand right to overcome uh, gas turbine power plants low air therm, the cycle efficiency a yeah, gas turbine may be used in a conjunction with the steam turbine plants in the unity based load station to offer the utilize the gas turbine uh, advantages of quick starting and stopping isn't it the gas turbine advantages of quick starting and stopping and permits flexible operation of the combined plant over here wide range of loads right this is the main advantages so here we have seen the already seen that combined power cycles here it is a gas turbine power unit here it is a steam power plant here it is a gas power plant here it is a gas power plant here gas turbine will be used here steam turbine will be used this is steam power plant right 